Not many people know the ins and outs of the roles the city employees have to fill. I'm Jen Edwards and I work for the City of Bowling Green. We have been developing a fun new project to give everyone a better idea of what it is our city employees do and what their titles mean. In this edition, we will learn what it means to work in the training division at the Bowling Green Fire Department. Welcome to What Do You Even Do? So Matt Ferguson, can you tell me a little bit about like your titles, your career, and what you do with the fire department? Yeah, I was a, a firefighter for five years. I uh, was uh, promoted to uh, FAO, which is uh, the driver engineer of a fire truck. Um, after three years of driving a fire truck, I was then promoted to captain of the fire truck. And for the last five years, I've been captain. Um, just in the last few months, I was, uh, had the opportunity to come to training to fill in for the assistant chief of training uh, while we were in the promotional process for our uh, current chief. Okay. So, assistant chief over training at the fire department. What do you even do? So, so mainly what, we, what I do in the training department is that we develop drills, um, we document the training hours um, that will help our ISO ratings for the city. We have to have, as a department, we have to have so many hours collectively. Um, and then we also, uh, of the million dollars of assets that that city has for the fire department, we train each individual to help protect and uh, train with the uh, apparatuses and gear that we have to make sure that they're safe and they're able to uh, make a difference in the public and saving lives. So how long has the training unit really been kind of established? Well over 100 years now and throughout the, the history of our fire department it probably started as that they would just hire a firefighter and they would get on a, a truck um, but through time the, the apparatuses have become more expensive the gear has become more expensive and so with all that it, it's better to have better training more training and quality training um, to develop the firefighters for today to help save life and property. You guys get to go out and play dress up and you know I guess go out and climb ladders and it, save cats and trees. It does sound simple but uh, being able to get full gear your bunker pants on your coat your hood your helmet your gloves on air and everything else to get to on just on the apparatus to get out of the station it sounds simple but it is actually kind of hard it takes a lot of practice a lot of reps um, it's a skill that is developed over many, many, many times of doing it. Um, we actually have some gear set aside if you would like to try it and see where you stand. Uh, but if, if you brought some clothes to, to do this in. You know, I, I do, I All do, right. so yeah, I'll give it a go. See, okay. See what we can do. Good. Hi, Jen, welcome to the Hi. fire department. Thank you. Okay, what we have here uh, is your uh, dress up stuff. Okay. So. Uh, this is our the, the turnout pants, jacket, helmet, mask, gloves, and uh, your SCBA. Uh, you will need to get all this on in a minute, so good luck. Okay. You guys all shimmy when you do it? Oh, yeah. Okay, so now you have your uh, bunker pants and your boots on with your hood. So go ahead and attach your belt. That's a safety belt. Tighten that up and that'll help tighten your pants in. There you go. Go ahead and get your jacket on. Remember, this is probably time lapse, so I don't know. Meaning our voices might fall apart. I'm going to fail in a minute just with this. Like five minutes. We sure about that. It felt like it was about 45 seconds. 
Alright, you ready to go do some training? Uh, you know, it's a little warm and it's July. Where's your summer collection at? Well, this is what we gotta wear. Alright, let's go. Alright. Alright Jen, we have our 24 foot ladder. Okay. We're going to have Firefighter Rich uh, show you the technique of how to throw it. Okay, Jen, now it's your turn. Come on, we okay. need to get to the second floor. Let's go. All right. Oh, my gosh. Yep, nope. That's not happening. Not happening. What, what's wrong, Jen? I can't, I can't get that thing up on my shoulder. Are you kidding me? I can barely get off the ground. They're okay. not already going to be attached to the building. No, we really need to throw it up to the second floor. Well, can't I just use the one that Firefighter Rich used? Well, I mean, you can. Okay, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to do this. Okay, well. No way. But, but I mean, it's not really fair. You have Firefighter Rich come out and do this, and men tend to have naturally better upper body strength. So, of course, he's going to make it look really easy while I can barely get it off the ground. Well, let, let me introduce you to Firefighter Rich. Okay. Firefighter Rich is Brittany Rich. So at the Bollinger Fire Department, we have the same standards for females and males. Yep, uh, I earned that one. Nice to meet you, Brittany. Good job. Okay, Jen, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, do a left hand search. Okay, okay. so you're gonna get down, okay. and you're gonna go in and get your left hand on the wall and follow and search the ground, okay? Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay, Jen, go ahead and, and search. It's smoky. You need to stay down low. We've got you on a thermal imager camera. It's called a tick. It's something that we can see through smoke. We see heat signals with it. Are you kidding me right now? I thought you said we're going to need somebody on the side. Go ahead and locate your victim and drag him to the door. We don't know what the size of our victims when we go in, so we have to be prepared at all times, no matter who they are or what size they are, to drag them out. What went wrong? What happened? There is no way I'm going to be able to drag him. Not at all. Okay. Come on out. What happened, Jen? There is just absolutely no way I was going to be able to drag him out there. No. Well, here is uh, Engineer Eva, Evan Henderson. You left in the fire. I'm so sorry. It makes you feel better. Oh. I barely got out myself. So, Good. we probably both would have been in there for all of eternity. So, how do you think I did? I'm not going to lie to you. It was horrible. Yeah. I don't think you have it what it takes to, to be a, fire, a Bowling Green firefighter. Oh, absolutely. I do not. You are 100% correct. I think my afternoon is going to be filled with a bath and probably a whole lot of ibuprofen. So I, I've learned I'm, I'm not cut out for this. If this takes many, many months of preparation and training uh, to develop the skills before you even attempt to go into a live fire to, to affect uh, saving lives and property. So you did. You, thanks for coming out. Yeah, well, you'd have to waste years on me instead of months for training. But I, I appreciate you putting me through all this and showing me exactly what it takes. It gave me a whole new appreciation and respect for sure. And I've learned I am definitely not cut out for this. But, you know, if you think you are, please go to our website, bgky.org slash jobs. You know, there you can either see if there are openings or you can put your name down on a notification list because... It takes a lot to be a Bowling Green firefighter, but if you have it, then good on you, and please come and join. And I wanted to also say thank you so much to Matt Ferguson, to the whole Bowling Green Fire Department, everybody else that came out here and helped us out today, and to Raina and Laura for filming with me today. I've had a blast. It might have been a miserable blast, but it was a blast. So thank you all, and this has been What Do You Even Do?
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels so much better actually. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome to the fire department. <laughs>